Hi! Have you heard of Blender? It's a software. I actually wanted to code today. But I'm not gonna. Because AI should take a rest. Because I've been coding a bunch. And I'm losing perspective. Over what's important and what isn't. So today I'm gonna make a short stream. Probably about an hour or so. Maybe two. Um, yeah. And, uh, and I'm gonna... There's this drawing I did on my iPad. Which I'm not happy with still. So I decided maybe... Maybe using Blender to kind of like... I think like having having this creature in like a nice um with like i don't know nice texture textures and like materials could be really nice so i'm gonna just chill today and um try to model this i'm not very good with modeling actually never learned it properly so i'm gonna f up in many 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 ways and hopefully it will be like broken in a good way when I'm done. So um, yeah, bring your friends, bring your um, associ associates and your boss and uh, people from the street, bring them all in because we're gonna have some chill time and um, yeah, as you can see, as you can see, here is my brain and it's jumping up and down all the time. There is also, no, no, ignore this. I mean, download my tools if you want to, but there's also a note that says, follow me, uh, follow to see me eating a broccoli. So if you follow me, there's gonna be a GIF on the screen of me eating a broccoli. And um, I highly recommend it. Cool. Let's um, let's do stuff. Let's relax. It is Blender, my favorite software, which just happens to be free as well. And I just happen to be broke. this thing vertical it's gonna be on the floor probably something like this right this makes sense okay this thing can be a curve curves are easy because I don't need to worry about topology at all perfect for me right now so um something like that and then maybe i wonder if i should subdivide it all let's try just removing this how do i okay dissolve no how do, how do i like open the shape Immediately, no. Immediately, I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's okay. Let's, um... Let's find out. Blender. How to open a path. Open a closed path. Oh, 
convert it to a mesh, but I don't want to. Blender. How do you open the curve in the blender? The curve. There you go. Oh, let's see, apparently. Which gives me like a very weird kind of thing. It makes me wonder if I should if I should like draw it myself. So now I can bevel this. I can't pronounce properly. It's clamped to zero and two, which makes sense because it don't. It's actually okay. Let's reset it. It's clamped by default. Just believe me. It's clamped to zero and one, which makes sense because that's what most people will use. But if you want to, you can just type in whatever. You can type in five hundred, and then the like the range becomes much bigger for the slider so dragging it the same amount um, is now like changing it from 0 to 500 which makes a bunch of sense it's something I would love to see in other software like After Effects After Effects has a mentality of like no it's clamped and if you want to use values like that are not set by default you can't I'm not trying to complain I'm just trying to say that there's a bunch of like nice little stuff like this in Blender, which I really, really appreciate. Okay, subsurface. And let's make it bloody inside. but oh I guess oh they're just the be the resolution of the thing yeah I guess so shade smooth um shading let's see the resolution increase it so 60 I guess it's because of the subsurface the edges um they they like they interact differently with light so it's more not 
noticeable. And um, JPL, and I think I'm going to use something noisy. Although I'm not a big fan of the denoiser. A bunch of people love it, but it doesn't. this shape, which I'm not exactly sure how to how to even approach. Hmm. I could create a bunch of like circles and merge them, but it sounds iffy. Like there's geometry nodes now, but I really don't know how to use them and I don't, I don't, um, I don't think I can learn them in like a few minutes. Let's think. What would it be? Zebra, deselect, zebra select or something like select. Hmm. Maybe maybe it's a, no, it's a velocity thing. Select checker deselect, not zebra deselect. Now, hey, well, that's not really it. But wait, this could be. Yeah, those could be like the inward shape. Let's save them in a vertex group and say inside. And then I can try um, subdividing the thing. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. Um. funny it's really funny the way it works i mean it's cool but it's not what i wanted um what if i select them is there an unsubdivide i think there is right to do it so that's i think i'm gonna use this shape for now and um give it like a material and such or oh, maybe if i bevel it no. i use it as a temporary thing and later on i'm gonna replace it 
it should be yellow. not too far off but it's not what I wanted I'll come back to this later see what I can do okay you know one thing I can try for the socks is to duplicate this Make it thicker. And I think it has a start and end mapping. Right? And then I could mirror. Yeah! So now I can remove this slot, make a new one, call it socks. Socks and give it a bunch of sheen, make it not very rough, and um, yeah, we'll get into more texturing later. I think now I could do this. Oh, it, it um, messes my, my thing. Fix it in a second. Interesting. Let's see. subdivide mm. maybe I maybe hmm. where are the all right no, the right tool subdivide this part subdivide this part <laughs> sorry and then um the, that very interesting the way it works I wish I could do it uh, for one dimension only, but I don't know how or if I can at all. Oh, that's an interesting tool. Anyway, this could be also pretty small. And this could be smaller. It's kind of cool though, it's not my original design, but it's kind of cool to, to have it form like that. It kind of looks like gloves all of a sudden. I might just leave it that way. Let's um... I'm gonna tweet.
One second. I mean, there's no one here. I can do whatever I want. I might have done some weird blender things. Is it Twitch? this how would you do it there it is in geometry twist method hmm. see what I'm gonna do with the edges I might just like um maybe use an object to kind of like seal them but for now it's from the camera view it's it looks fine and it looks cool though um so I might just leave it that way for now okay let's think about the the big hairy green part I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a simple mesh and distort it get all the little um, hmm maybe I could use particles like actual hair could be cool so let's see let's use a circle of hair I'm not gonna be pedantic um, over the exact shape just like should be a blob of uh, stuff so let's see I can um, fill it and then This, hmm, what's the best way to kind of like turn it into a thing? That's definitely not the best way to do it. Um, I should probably I should probably um, I, I don't know the answer, that's the answer. What I could do, maybe instead of this shape, I could use a cube. And then, is symmetry still on? No. Okay, and then, I can extrude it. Oh, that doesn't work. Let's do this. Okay, extrude it. Turn it down. Oops. Um... That's kind of like more what I expected. It looks like a bot. Um, I said bot live on Twitch. Okay, let's think about it. I need to get rid of the crease, but for now I actually don't mind it. It might be like a fun mistake to, to keep. So let's try something in this color.
Um, it's probably somewhat. Yeah, maybe not too much, but somewhat uh, reflective. It should be like brighter. But I guess that's a world um, brightness thing, right? Maybe I could, I could use the hair, like I could use actual hair in Blender, but because in my drawing the hairs are kind of like blobs, I could probably make a collection of blobs and like scatter them around it, and I think it would be cool. Let's bring the cursor here, and then make a cylinder. And because there's gonna be a bunch of them, I'm gonna have to like be careful with my um the amount of vertices I'm using. So let's say from afar this would be fine, I hope. And then extrude up, scale down, extrude up, scale down. Scale down. Mm, and maybe once more. I mean, if it's gonna be tiny, then it could be enough. And now what I can do is I can do um, multiple ones. Let's move it into a collection and call them blobs. And I'm going to duplicate them. And with this thing, proportional editing, I can like make changes. Um, yeah, I can make like very quick changes to the whole thing. And then I can also maybe select, um, make it a bit thinner and taller. And then maybe let's make one that is a bit curved. So I'm gonna duplicate it. And then maybe select the top one and bring it kind of like that. Hmm. For this, maybe what I would do is um, how do you do it? Select uh, ring. No. Loop. No. Select. Select loop, edge loops. Okay, so now I can yeah do something like that. Bring it down a bit, maybe kind of like this. Same for that, and maybe take the top face and um, increase the proportional editing radius. Maybe before I do that, I'm gonna add another scene. but they're gonna be about this size um, relative to the camera so blobs these are the blobs and now take this thing shade smooth and use particles where are they are those particles it's funny how it doesn't mention it doesn't say anything about what it is 
I mean, if you go here, you get like transform and like a bunch of text to kind of inform you that you're in the object thing. But for like particles, just an empty list. The only indication that this is the particle segment is the help tip. things blobs um global coordinates no object rotation maybe object scale yeah but we shouldn't hmm let's see source vertical per face do I need to turn on advanced yeah velocity rotation velocity per hair Days. It's like off. Do I need to like calculate normals for this? No. This looks more like don donut um kind of like donut um what is it? Like the sweets, the candies? The candy. Um let's see, how do I I can I can change the blobs themselves then turn on object rotation so then I can say hmm what would it be the X no oh yeah cool it's spiky it's spiky and wait how do I apply the the material because now it's th there are different objects so let's say you this part. children do I have to set the material for these I mean it's no it's not a big issue but you know it's weird kind of looks now like these um there used to be like squishy toys that are kind of like empty inside wait let's see if i can make it transparent i don't know if they're empty inside there's like some kind of like slime inside but you can kind of squish them and then one part becomes like a huge bubble kind of looks like those um yeah that's kind of what i was thinking about Okay, interesting. It's, I mean, this is not like my original thing, but it's fun. Looks fun. Kind of wonder what it looks like in cycles. Hey, that's pretty cool. Except for the overlap because of the mirror uh, modifier. Can I, hmm, bisect? Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. This looks funny. Okay. Um, I want more particles. Oh my god, I want to squish it. I want to put it in my hands and squish it. Something is happening. I might want more particles. So let's say... 2000. And... Um, hmm, source faces. Maybe volume. Okay, um, it is 
uh, directly like touching the other mesh so it might maybe take this part up a bit Ooh, it kind of ruins everything or not probably subdivide it more now or not actually with the particles it's not very noticeable this is looking so funny huh um what if i subdivide after i put on the particles it's not liking it at all transition maybe for now what, what where's my what where's my drawing oh it's not it doesn't render it no it does okay cool 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 can use the same kind of curve to create the lips. Uh, this is this is not safe for work. Not sure why though. Okay, so I might now I actually don't need this to I can use only three points, I think. Oh wait, I probably should. Mm. No, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to reduce the depth size a little bit. And then use the profile maybe to create the kind of, oh, but the lips are open. No, then I'm going to, I'm going to actually like close it, seal it, I mean, so this, and fill. <laughs> I don't know what I created, but it's definitely crying for help now, at the moment. Do I have Bezier um, handles for those? I must have, right? And it's Pine type Bezier. Do I need the other one to be Bezier? Yeah, let's have them all be Bezier. Bezier. Yeah. At least six points required for conversion. What? But wait a second. What what is that handle type automatic? Where's my handle? I am not sure. Hmm. If I could smooth curve tilt. No. Smooth. Smooth. Set spline type. Bezier. Set handle type. I'm missing something. How do I set curve speed decimates? Interesting. I don't know. I don't know the answer for uh, to this. And duplicate not something. I want to bevel this. How 
Actually, <sighs> um, let's duplicate this material and set a red color. Maybe make it reflective. just like use a plane because it's not really anything Even like, yeah, even to the point where it's behind the mesh. And now, I should probably create teeth. Let's do the teeth later. No, let's do them now. I wanna test out something though. Can I, what if I just make a few cubes? Inside the same shape, the same item, and then use the curve modifier to make it follow the curve. What happens? Nothing good happens, that's for sure. But can I fix it? Wait, let's think. inside. 
Let's burn it. Okay. And then if I select the teeth, which are all over the place at the moment, and place them here. Okay, that's not better, but not worse. Why do, they, do I need to place... Oh yeah, I need to place them here. That's weird. It should be here and then here. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted, to be fair. I can just subdivide them. And maybe before I subdivide, I can subdivide once again, but no, I, okay. The first subdivision should only affect the geometry, so... How do you see the... How do you actually see the, the geometry changing? Anyway. The first subdivision should be a simple subdivision, which only like cuts the the faces in, in the middle, like divides the, the faces. And then when the second one kicks in, it's more square, but it's still smooth in the corners. I could also just like use a um, mean crease, right? But that's cool, that's cool. This is what I wanted. So now, pretty good that's kind of like what i wanted and then let's give them a material material girl material girl and they will be reflective because they're teeth Hmm. Cool. Yep, that's weird. This is what I was going for. Um, let's uh, let's have a pause. And the pause is over. Okay, the eyes. The eyes could also be kind of like balloons or toys kind of like those squishy toys maybe like dog toys almost probably the same material as this but yellow and then I'm gonna have to like draw the, the smiley on top of them but the shape itself should just be like a simple sphere which one? probably UV right? Should be enough. Maybe like that. And then. In the drawing height there above. So, like this. Let's come down a bit and rotate. And then also, I could just, um, you know, like reflect it. If I move it inside to the right, reflect the X. This means I can place the anchor point in the middle, the origin. This is, this is an after effects. And then place this here. So this will give me two eyes. And I, would, I will um, take the green, duplicate it. And set it to yellow. Now I could 
inside this. Maybe give it more trans uh, transmission. I mean, it doesn't look good. well. Not one for sure. It's not like a transparent thing. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Maybe the eyes can be very reflective. This is very disturbing, but this is kind of what I wanted. Do I want disturbing things? Maybe. Maybe I do. Okay, we'll get to the texturing part in a, in a moment. Let's not like get caught in it too much. faces then you just like hmm. let's try let's try let's uh, try without the, the tutorial let's have a cube and bevel it with a bunch of faces right Oh yeah, if you hold C, it doesn't like overlap itself. If you click C, which does what? Oh, clamp overlap. Cool. Then something like that. And then... He selected only this part. How do you select the entire ring again? keyboard like shortcuts that prevents me from doing so because I used to do it a bunch anyway no select ring no select loop and then let's think what did you do something that I didn't, I didn't do. Uh, 
Ah, oh, you already did that part. Anyway, let's let's do it. I'll do it. I'll try doing it myself. shows that I'm not actually a 3D artist. symmetrical anymore. destroyed it. Or not. I would love to have more uh, edges here. Well, what I can do now is maybe take this part and give it some crease. Hey, that's not too bad. Right? Look, this... I'm kind of proud of... I'm proud of that. It's a heart. I mean, I used the tutorial, but... It's a heart. It turned out much better than I expected. Wow, okay, cool. I kind of like how it has this tiny crease here. socks weren't too big. Hmm. 
Let's see if I can hide the original now. Okay. Let's um let's start shading a little bit and then I'll, I'll be able to come back and make some um, design adjustments. I still need to fix this. Maybe now that I've done the heart might give me some ideas uh, on how to do the other thing. Wow, the heart is like is it just me or is it like a great heart? What? Oh. I mean, there's the, there's that. But other than that, it's like pretty good, right? Wow, I'm so proud of it. to do something I'm usually doing for the world which is to let's see um, material world ah world and then let's go to cycles what 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 what, what have I done have I moved the heart Oh no, I changed the perspective. Okay. Cycles. And the heart should be red. Why? I did something. I did something. Let's give it a new material. Okay, I don't know what I did, but I did something then. Anyway, now let's go to the world. And I have to split the light that's actually affecting the model from the light that displays as the background. Whoops. And the way to do it is to use a... What was it? Light node? Night path? And then you can say... Like, if I'm gonna use... Is camera... Getting the wrong one. Let's uh, let's let's try. So I'm gonna use this mat as a mixer. Mix RGB. No, I need to mix two shaders. So shader mix shader. This is gonna be the factor, and then I'm gonna have two background shaders. One for the background and one for the light. Oh wait, I'm not using the world okay now i'll be able to see it yeah so you can you can tell that everything that's white is uh literally like the light that doesn't hit anything doesn't interact with anything it's literally just the background and everything that's black is the is everything else which is what i want because then i'll be able to light my model in one way and have a different background so now if I use the mix shader, you can see that the red light um, affects the scene, but the background is still white. It's possible that I'm going to just leave the background white, but I actually want to use some HDRI probably to kind of like, um, kind of like, um, you know, and give some shading to the object. Let's see. Texture, image, texture. And I'm going to quickly bring up some HDRIs. Maybe it would be something like this. I need a texture coordinate. It's 
not an image. It's a... It's an environment texture. That's the difference. There you go. Hey, that's starting to look cool. So if I want to uh, spin it, move it, like change it, I have to use a... Actually, I like how it's almost like um, the lights are kind of like right above it. I think once I'm gonna add some textures, it's gonna look really, really, really fun. This is kind of cool. The edge, the shadows might be too sharp. I don't know yet. It's possible. But let's figure it out later. I might like... Hmm. First of all, let's put this right in front of our model. Because it's kind of like part of it. And I might use an actual plane to diffuse the light that's coming from top. So it's gonna be um, a white plane with some transparency. Tr transmission. And I think it might help with the shadows, although it might make the renders longer. This is with it. This is without it. You can see the shadow here being like ultra sharp from the eye. And with it, it's diffusing it a little bit. This is cool. Okay. What's going on? There's like a bunch of planes. Ah, oh, the plane is in... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in my uh, in my blobs. Sorry, in my blobs um, collection. And they all become particles. So let's remove them. These are the only three blobs. Whoop, 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 whoop. These are the only three blobs. So this, 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 and that. They all need to be in the main scene collection. The main collection. And then I can make the blobs untouchable. So yeah, let's start like texturing a bit and give it some depth. Let's do low roughness. Huh. Like cycles is a bit slower than usual, but I suppose eight because I'm using like a higher res, res screen than I'm used to. And also I'm um, streaming. This is probably the main reason. It's fine, it's still pretty quick. Maybe that's the noise from the first sample, from the fifth sample. Yeah, this looks good. One thing I might do with the blobs is to give them like a wider base so they would feel more like they're connected to the to the shape. So kind of like this. And maybe even another one. Let's do that to the other two. It looks a bit mmm. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say what this reminds me of. Oh. Um. Just not gonna say it out loud. Okay, this might help with blending it in a bit. Let's try rendering this part. pretty cool to me. I think, hmm, let's try this out. Let's go back to the object materials and I'm gonna try to only grab like the super sharp edges by using the um, geometry. 
battery node. And then a color ramp. Let me grab the point in this. So now, yeah. Actually, I want the point in this. This means I want. Mm, interesting. Maybe something like that. Yes, and then I could use this map to create like some color variation because if it's like plastic, which is kind of like how I imagine it at the moment, it would probably have some dust and some like thickness differences. So let's use this to like um, alter like our material a little bit. Let's see if I can isolate this. Yes, now it renders mega fast. And then for the color, I'm gonna mix the original green with white. And the way I'm gonna mix it is by using this map. Yeah, so. Yeah, you can kind of see how it gives it like a weird funky look. So maybe a bit softer and maybe not like white white but kind of like a more faint green something like that maybe cool. another thing i can do is does it have a subsurf do i want to give it a subsurf probably not but if i'm gonna give it some transmission which i might I could probably give, hmm, let's see. Let's see what I can do with, uh, with the transmission. What if it will only transmit in the, in the white areas? Transmission. transparency but it's like mild okay another thing that could be cool is maybe to have some um maybe to have some fingerprint texture for the Roughness. So that's the image. I'm gonna quickly load an asset. Found some fingerprints. Although I'm going to have to maybe um, let's do UV and I'm going to actually like make, uh, I'm going to have to like fix the UVs, okay, these three and say unwrap, um, let's do smart UV project. Uh, 
your projection. Mm, cylinder projection, sphere projection. Unwrap. Okay, I have to set it manually, I think. Angelopes. And how do I do it? Set mark sim. Same here, mark sim. If I select the three and do unwrap, looks bad. Why? Let's go to the um, no, the UV. Why is it so weird? Wait, I need to actually go. To the yeah, to those. Let's see, what is this face? something like this and maybe I'll just like spin it or like do that and scale it wait scale no that's the edge but that's fine and then something here is not working what are those faces where are they Why does it give like a face for each? Okay, I'm gonna like really, really uh, do it like badly. That's fine because they're tiny, so it's not. It doesn't matter that much. Whoops! It gives like one for each face. That's weird. sim where would a sim be probably something like that mark sim so stretched it doesn't look like it should be that stretched right like i can see the shape hmm maybe i need to do that and scale them no let's leave it as is i am not good enough to actually actually play with it and they're tiny so it's not gonna be noticeable let's go back to this back to rendered mode and oh i need to solve the uv for the main shape Yeah, 
You know what? I think it's my bad. I think it's because I set it to box. What is the default one? Flat. This could be why it didn't work properly. Like, it's not like this is great, but... CQ projection is much better now. And also, for this... Oh, this is so much better. Even just with smart UV. Although, yeah, that's not great. This is so much better. So let's do the same with this. So select the thing, plus the circle. Oops. Mark seam. Mark seam. Mark seam. And wrap. Yeah, that's fine. Mark seam. Mark seam. Oops. Although, to be fair, this should be better, right? If I only mark this as a seam and say unwrap. Probably better. Let's remove seam. Select the button part. Then mark seam. And then unwrap. Yeah, and I don't mind the fact that like the edge is swollen. It's kind of like the look I'm looking for either way. So clear seam. Mark seam. Unwrap. And let's select all three and then go to the UV editor and then scale them. Let's see. Yeah. This is fine. I think this will work at the very least. Although there are some, there's this like weird edge. Let's maybe try to move the subtle effect but it's there what I might do is make the texture smaller using using a mapping node just say that to 2 and 2 maybe even 4 and 4 yeah and let's um Let's add some uh, bomb. Sorry, let's add some bomb with some noise.
Let's get it on even more. noticeable because it kind of kills the reflection now because it's so um, detailed but now it's beautiful on the highlights because it actually gives a sense um, it actually breaks the lights the light paths into different directions like that which is really really good or like slight realism and I also noticed that I need to smooth, shade smooth the thingies. <laughs> this looks so cool. <laughs> Maybe I can make it a bit more um, noticeable. Hmm. What would it look like in another color? Kinda looks like I'm creating NFTs now. textures this is the mouth I'm gonna use the same um, fingerprints texture also give it some texture maybe with a fortnite texture will only be like um yeah this will not be too too visible yeah kind of like that 
just to kind of give like irregularity to the to to the object and i'm gonna mix it with some noise which will be the main texture for the lips so i want a nice texture and i want to scale it down a bunch like a hundred and for this one i don't need this um the shtick but curly. it needs to be connected to the color maybe soft light with the other one like what's going on let's make the noise tiny oh yeah this is better it's a denoising that kills my my noise is much better, I could say, but actually, I don't know. same thing with the geometry and then say color and pointiness and mix two colors and send it to the main color so it will be ah it's because of the subsurface it's too slow it's so slow to render Maybe a bit of subsurface. Maybe even make it blue or something. I don't know. Something exciting. Anyway, what if I can actually... What can I get from the pointiness now? Can I get anything? I think the pointiness might not work because it's a curve. But I might be wrong. 
I don't think it's actually working at all. So let's not do, do that. Cool. Um, for the legs, I kind of thought about maybe giving it some like... um. Almost like a clay feeling, but I don't really want to bring a texture for it, so I'm gonna have to find a way to do it with noise. Oh, with wave. Wave could be cool. So we could set the input to be something funky, like normal, which already gives us, gives us something really, really interesting. Oh, that's really cool. What if I just do that? I mean, I could add some detail. Some distortion. Oh, it breaks it. That's a shame. Why is it doing that? Is it still curvy? Yeah, this means I can... Huh. like UV a texture space oh that's UV I need to set generate and then it will yeah ah oh, that's a shame well maybe I can hmm it's kind of close At least I can distort it, or at least say it, um, detail. Ah, that's pretty cool. Wow, that looks really good, just like the way it is. Like, what if I just use it as a color? Oh my god. This makes me wonder. Wait, before I do that, let's at least give a, uh, give a try to my. Um, let's at least try my uh, original idea. Doing it as a bump, which kind of makes it look like wood, which is cool. Maybe if go less intense or something. It's kind of cool that it kind of looks like wood, actually. the contrast a bit. 
So now I could mix, and I could mix like carefully, like almost like that. And it's only there to kind of like break it um, off a little bit. Because if I'm going for some kind of like a wooden texture, it would probably have like some tiny chips and such. Let's see what it looks like. So the denoiser would probably kill it, but let's try like really, really um, pushing it. Now it won't feel like it's so perfect. Tasty almost. Now with the roughness down. Looks sugary. Like it's sugar coated. Ooh, can I coat it? Clear coat. That's really cool. but it looks pretty good. to do something with the socks. Uh, 
Um, I wonder what would. Um, can I use a taper object? Which means. If I change the width here, will it change it there? Is this like what it's supposed to do? No. Then... Oh, is it like a distance-based thing? It is. Which is weird. Exactly sure, like what I'm doing. <laughs> it's so weird. Kind of cool, though. So, because these are socks, I can make this part slim and then the beginning kind of big. I 
don't even know like how how would it work. This is cool. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe um, it would be fun to give them like a socky material. Wow, that looks really, really nice to me. I'm excited about what's going on. So socks are not reflective. They're like, they diffuse the light. 
There's a bunch of Shin. Can I exaggerate the Shin? Maybe one is good enough. Tint, tint, I don't know. And then it would be cool to use maybe a wave texture. Maybe even mix the waves to kind of give like a um like a like threads uh like a thread feeling threaded uh what am I saying? I'm saying that I want to give it a threaded feeling. So this is cool. And one of them needs to be the Y axis. Yeah. And maybe let's use the same value for the sizing. There is a value node somewhere. So let's use it for the scale. Oh, that's really, really good. Oh my God, this is gonna be so nice. Um, I might distort them just a tiny bit to kind of like make it a bit irregular. And then... Hmm, can I mix them with overlay maybe? Oh my god. This looks so good. Maybe with difference. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to see it as a bump. Wow. Vector bump. Whoops. I'm gonna remove the noising for a second because it's really not um, doing any justice to like small details like this one. This one should go down as well. Wow. It's really, really cool. I don't know anything about texturing in Blender. And I, hmm, let's see. I know that there's a thing with like files. So it has to be a file. And you have to save it as well or something weird like that. But then where would that be? it as a texture but that's a bit weird right where is it image and then untitle and then say texture texture coordinate generate this no UV so now on the thing itself there must be a way 
Um, but I don't know how. So I think I'm just gonna like hack my way around and like try to do something like that. So let's see. I want to maybe give it like a back. This as a, as a base color, this should do it. Like as a mask, and then I'm gonna say color mix RGB. Is it blend like somewhat white? Kind of like that. With a darker one. Hmm, 
interesting. Can I draw a straight line? Must be a way to make a straight line, right? So just draw a line. Soften. Text draw. Hmm. Advanced. No, no, it killed my, uh, my line. Well, I could do that. That's true. And then just like something like that. <laughs> it's not. It's not very good, but. Let's see if I can work with that. at the moment but yeah it looks awful let's not do that Yeah, 
like the hole's tiny. Maybe a tiny bit of subsurface. To kind of like kill the render time. Because it's a cloth, it might help and give it some nice like feeling. And what I would also do is uh, What I would also do is add a bunch of tiny hairs to it. of tiny hairs to the socks it will probably look really really nice right Mistakes with uh, this looks really really sweet. Let's um, let's make a particle system and add air. And I'm gonna use interpolated children to make a bunch, a bunch more.
sorry. There's no one here, but I'm trying to like speak loud and clear, just in case. Um, length, threshold, no. Visual appearance. Okay, clamp, amplitude. There should be more detail to the shed, to the... steps. Maybe this is what it was. No. Anyway, this seems good. All I want is like to give it a tiny bit of like softness. Why is it black though? Is it because of the material? Wait, maybe I'm not using it for the viewport F viewport display color material. Then maybe maybe it's like freaking out because there's a bunch of subdivision surface. Yeah, that could be it. Hmm. Either way, let's make the these trends uh, smaller, thinner. Can add some length to it. Maybe that's too thin. Hmm. Okay, interesting. This is what I want. I want the outline to to feel like it's hairy. So maybe, mm, how do I set a, a variation for the children? Is it in the kink? No, there's an amplitude. Wait, let's not render for a second. Amplitude, no. Lightness, frequency. Clamping, mm, length, render amount, no. No. Whoa. Wait a second, what if I did that? Choose the size. Oh, this is 
this could work if I now make them much, much shorter. Yeah, it kind of breaks the uniformity a bit, which is kind of... Hmm, that's kind of cool. What if I now turn it into 300? Let's try to render that. Other way to... Or at the very least, find a way to diffuse this material a bit more, maybe by okay, distortion or roughness. Detail scale, detail zero. Let's not give it detail. also be cool, although probably less sucky, but kind of sweet, right? You know what I might do is use the diagonal, the diagonal, use that one and maybe mix differently between them. Let's flip them, and then I'll mix more towards the first one. Maybe let's look for something else, like dark and... So you still get the vertical col columns, but you'll get more of the horizontal ones. Um, let's save the hair for the render because it's really, really slowing down. Sorry, it's really, really slowing down the the rendering time. This should be bigger. texture to to make some parts of the bump um, more transparent 
out of the bump of the of the holes in the mesh. Do that. Color mix RGB. Mix. And then multiply. No. Add. Or multiply. Overlay. Let's see what this one gives. Just a tiny bit of variation, I guess. Let's turn this back to 45, maybe. I still feel like it could be because of that. Like, um,. The bump is too sharp, almost. Yeah, like it needs to be more like... Some parts have less holes than others. some like stains to the thingy like to make it feel a bit more um, dirty so again a noise texture everything is a noise texture that's the lesson today and mix the current base color with a certain dirty color, maybe like that, based on the noise. Texture on top of everything? No, it wasn't, right? Oh, what? I think by accident I connected the noise to the base color instead of this. Nice. 
they might as well um, make it a bit more staining. today <laughs> it's working let's not fix it huh okay um i guess this could be dark here transparent i think it might look better once i give it some depth so now it's still transparent but it's probably a bit more realistic because it has some depth in it inside it that's funny why is it getting like why is it getting this mesh detail from This looks wrong. This looks like it shouldn't be. Crash. Turn 
transmission. You know what could be interesting? It would be cool to try and set a transmission for part of it. So let's say geometry. Try that, it could look a bit like a disco ball. Or probably not, but we could try setting a transition based on that. And make sure it's actually right. That's weird, I think. Incoming. How would that look like? Hmm. I mean, this could be interesting. Right, but you could barely see it. It's alive and it's looking at me. Transition. Ah, transmission. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, there's something interesting in this idea. It's kind of cool. Kind of feels like it's in encapsulated inside itself. What if now I solidify it a bit? Make any difference at all now? What if I invert this? This is also cool because it feels like it has an exterior uh, layer. But it's like very confusing to the eye. This is kind of like a subtle, cool detail. Very cool. What if I use the same material for this? No. Cool, but no. Actually, this wooden one, I might just like grab it and change the color because it looks really, really nice. So let's duplicate it. And just use like a yellow color. Sorry. I mean, this looks really, really sweet. Maybe even something purplish. Gray purplish almost. Oh, it's funny that this wood has subsurface. I might want to like, not do that. I 
that's cool. <laughs> looks really cool. Let's see what this lo uh, wood looks like without the subsurface. Looks fine. I mean, does the subsurface help? I don't think it does. And it just creates like a huge... Uh, yes, a huge. Let's see, maybe for this. Maybe for like a smaller. Great points of steel. Cool. Wait, it's a bit too much. And you know what? Should I introduce some green like underneath? Kind of like that. Could be cool. Where's the original um, drawing? Yeah. Ah, oh, wait a second. In the original one, there's so much green. He's like flying towards the heart. It's like, oh, could be a cool animation. Maybe after I finish it.
party goes to be this big. and everything but the background is kind of dark gives it like really nice detail and, uh, contrast oh my god that's so sweet this is like looking for love oh my god that's sweet that's also pretty cool there's something like that
of them. I kind of make them sh sh smaller. This looks weird. Interesting. Looks, looks interesting. Oh no, I think I ruined something. Yeah, we did. So, before I wrap things up, I'm definitely gonna do a part two for this. Um, but I, I really want to try and redo the shape of the little, like, um, you know, let's see. What if it's something like that? Let's subdivide it in advance. And let's, um, Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's definitely not it. But it's closer. I think I learned a thing or two from doing the heart. So maybe just like redoing that or using an array or something. There's something that bothers me and I still haven't realized exactly what. Maybe the lighting is too strong or not, or too soft. to the eyeballs and then it kind of feels like they're reflecting in the heart. Nah. <sighs> Should we have a floor? Should I do the trick that everyone does? But then I'm gonna lose the background, right? I don't think you can 
to see a floor from this angle. Let's see. Do that. <laughs> Excuse me. So it's like this for now, kind of like this color combo. And I wonder, I don't think I wanted to have hearts for eyes, but let's for now, because I'm going to end the stream any minute now. Let's have it, and I think it will be a nice way to end it. a tiny love uh, loving creature oh it's very sweet Kids. 
think it's looking cool. Though I might come back to this to finish it and maybe figure out what I want to do with the rendering and stuff in the colors. Still, if I want to actually execute the original idea, then I'm going to have to give it like smileys for eyeballs. Wait, the socks are completely like they're destroyed. The sorry, the the noise are uh, butchered them. So I think the only solution to actually render this is to um, not use a denoiser and use a bunch of samples instead. So the camera would be orthographic. some ideas on how to improve it like I'm not 100% satisfied with that but hey that's that's fun it's been fun to work on um this probably needs to be shit smooth this as well so here's what I'm gonna do let's render like a low quality one
it's looking nice. I think... I don't know if it's because of the hair still, but... The socks look a bit weird. I think what I might end up doing is... Having the texture bigger. Because it's a cartoonish sock. It's to feel that way. Yeah, I think I don't like what I made with that. Surf. What if I don't give it some surf? Oh, it looks painful. Oh, the bump is like way too too high. Okay, now if I give it some surf, it's like big numbers. I think it's sweet. I would improve on the socks. I think maybe I would sculpt them a little bit because there are some areas kind of like here that look weird. Yeah, I kind of like the wooden thing. Kind of like bagel almost <laughs> that I ended up um, creating by accident. Yeah, I think it definitely has the same vibe as the iPad drawing. I don't know if it's the same vibe, but it's definitely the same creature, same core idea. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Must be able to like make the sock a bit more realistic. Maybe add like a like a fold on top. I mean, here I had some like. Uh,
Ah, 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 ah,